probably get him out of here. He'll be up soon, and I really don't feel like another go around. Sorry that you heard what I said. It's fine, Caroline. I really don't care. Why? No, why don't you care? You're the one who always cared. It's what I liked about you. You know, amidst all the crazy in our perfectly messed up lives, you cared more than anyone. So how could you just stop? Because I had to. I had to move on. You know, the months before I moved here, I was following every lead that a lark sent my way. I spoke to every witch, every shaman, every psychic in 20 countries around the globe, and every lead was a dead end. But Enzo has another lead. There's this coven in Oregon. The Gemini coven. Yeah, I looked into them too, Caroline. There was nothing there. Because there's nothing we can do. Damon and Bonnie are dead. I had to come to terms with that. And once I did, I had to start over. I couldn't just live my old life with my old friends. I couldn't go near Mystic Falls or Elena or- me? Because I thought we were closer than that. I mean, you couldn't hear in all those messages that I left you? You couldn't hear that I was completely falling apart without you? You never listened to them. I had to move on. I didn't have a choice. I had to erase everything. Well, let me summarize them for you. You're a dick. If you want him out of your house, you throw him at yourself. I did not know about Ivy, but... But what? What? I was fooling myself. I was using her as an escape. Yeah, I know what you think, Caroline. Well, actually, I was gonna say, but killing Enzo won't bring her back. No, but it'll stop him from reminding me of my brother. I kill him, I can leave this place, and I can start over again. So... that's why you left all those messages on my phone promising apologies? That's why you visited Elena? That's why you came to this party just to kill Enzo and start over? Yep. I don't believe you. I know that a part of you misses this place and these people, your friends. I know that being back here reminds you how much we need you, how much I need you. But if I'm wrong, then go ahead. Just go. Start over. But, God, if I'm... right, if just a little part of you came back to check on Elena, who's had an unbearable four months, or Alaric, who just came back from the dead, or me... If even just a small little part of you came back to check on me... Her? Oh, so you decided to listen to your messages a million hours later? No, I didn't lose her. She snapped my neck. What the hell took you so long? I got caught up. You got caught up doing what? Driving halfway out of town. You were leaving? I slid Ivy's daylight ring no, under your front no, door. No, I don't care about some stupid ring, Stefan. Were you seriously about to dump your vampire ex-girlfriend onto my lap and then just skip town? You right now I'm someone who's trying to start over and then suddenly you and Enzo show up and now I have hunters on my trail and a brand new vampire who wants to kill me and everyone else in her path and that's not how someone starts over Caroline you know what the worst part about all of this is 
It's about a month ago. I wish that Damon would come back because I knew if that happened, that I'd get you back too. But right now, all I want is for you to just get back in your car and go. Enzo wasn't being careful. Trip would have caught him eventually, and that meant danger for all of us. Right. So you handed Enzo over so we wouldn't be targeted, and now you're rescuing him so we won't be targeted. Way to go. Well, I thought Trip was going to kill him. I didn't think he was going to keep him alive for information. Oh, well, in that case, sounds like you were just being practical. So did you rat out Ivy, too? What? We didn't want to deal with her anymore. You wanted her gone, and now she is. You know what? You really should write Trip a thank you note. Hold on a second. Enzo turns Ivy, right? A hunter kills her, and yet I'm the bad guy? I'm not the one threatening to turn in other vampires to save his own skin. The only one who's turned in other vampires is you, Stefan. That's why you're helping. Guilt for getting Damon's friend captured. Yeah, Damon's my brother, and I gave up on him first. Enzo didn't. So if rescuing his idiot friend is going to somehow make it up to him, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Great. Good for you. Let me know when you figure out how you're going to make everything up to me. on the Stefan Salvatore apology tour. <laughs> Can we just get past this, please? I'm trying to. <laughs> but, Kellen, what do, you, what do you want me to do, huh? Stop making me guess and tell me so we can go back to being friends again. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, that's the thing, Stefan. After all of this, I... I don't want to be friends anymore. That's weird. What's weird? None of your business. We're not friends anymore, which means you can't just show up unannounced at my door. Goodbye. Hey, Caroline. Look, you're not safe. Trip's men still have your name. So what? You here to protect me? Newsflash, I don't need your protection. And more importantly, I don't want it. Hey, Mom. Can I call you back? I'm trying to get a piece of gum off of my shoe. Actually, honey, this can't wait. Do you have any idea where Trip Cook might be? Trip? No, I have no idea. Why? Because one of his men just ran me off the road. And they're gonna kill me if they don't get him back. Answer your phone, Enzo. <laughs> I just, I didn't call her today. You know, I always call my mom every Saturday morning. But no, today I said, screw it. I want to sleep in. I'll do it tomorrow. Well, don't worry, we're almost there. We're almost there? You said two hours and then kill him. Do you even remember how long ago you said that? I mean, what kind of a person sets a ticking clock without setting his watch? Tell me that Trip is still alive. Trip is still alive. Surprisingly torture resistant, but alive. God, what took you so long to answer your phone? My fingers were covered in blood and the touchscreen wouldn't work. Just don't kill him, okay? One of his guys took my mom, so just keep your hands off of him so I can get her back, okay? Enzo, please. Please don't ask my mother for her opinions. You heard that? Yeah, I've got super hearing. I hear everything. Only when you listen. <sighs> wow. 
Why? Why was I listening? Why do you have a thing for me? I don't. Okay. Um, why did you have a thing for me? We said that we would never talk about this again. Look, so Caroline, just... please, just talk to me. Tell me how. Tell me why. Please just make me understand how it is that I missed it. What kind of a stupid question is that? Why did I have a thing for you? I don't know, Stefan. Maybe it's because I thought you were worth having a thing for. Because when I woke up as a vampire, you told me that I would get through it, and I did. Because when I watched Elena move on with your brother, I couldn't imagine why she would let anyone like you go. Because you were practically my best friend because I trusted you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for not seeing it. I'm sorry for not... Feeling it back. No, I didn't say that. I had... Like, I don't know what I felt. You know, my head was all over the place, but... I am incredibly sorry for the way that I treated you. Yeah, well... I know what you felt, Stefan. Because if even just a little tiny piece of you felt for me what I was starting to feel for you, you wouldn't have walked away. And I don't hate you for that. I don't hate you for mourning your brother. I don't hate you for being the biggest jerk on the planet while doing so. And I accept your apology. But you do still hate me. Yes. Yeah, I hate you. Because if I don't hate you for ruining our friendship, then I have to hate myself for ruining it. And I think that I deserve better than that. Hey. Hey. You're here. That's good. That actually saves me a trip. Needless to say, there were leftovers. You made me a doggy bag. <laughs> Just because I hate you doesn't mean I want you to starve to death. <laughs> Besides, Bonnie's alive. You know, this is like the first Thanksgiving in forever where there's something to actually be thankful for. So. Caroline, um... Look, when Damon was gone, I, um... I pushed you away. Yeah, I know, Stefan. You pushed everyone away. It's kind of what you do. But I pushed you away the most. I knew that you were the one person who would sit with me and let me cry. And I didn't want to cry anymore. So I had to push you away the most. Thank you for saying that. Listen. Enjoy the leftovers. <laughs>